We focus on more on training and helping people who have been trafficked or are at risk of being trafficked um, restore their lives or better their lives in some way. And we, for the most part, do that through training, whether it's protection programs, teaching them self-defense, um, human rights, abuse awareness, rape prevention app techniques, um, third party protection techniques, um, or it's through vocational training where we're teaching them English or we have a sewing course to give young girls and women extra skills that they can use then to go and start a business. Being a trainer actually teaches you how to train someone properly in that school and then go through the mentoring process. So you teach them how to do it, you show them how to do it, then you help them do it, then you watch them do it, and then the process continues so then they can train other people in that um, skill or that, in that vocation. And so often I've met women and, and children who say, oh that's okay, my father will protect me, oh that's okay, my boyfriend will protect me, and that doesn't happen. It's nice to think that way, but that doesn't happen. You only can rely on yourself to protect yourself. So in order to do that, you need to give yourself the skills to be able to protect yourself. So to me, the, the heart of Global Arms is to help and train people who are at risk or who have been trafficked. We want to help, I want to personally help children and women that want to stay safe. Everybody has a right to be safe. So I want to be able to give them the skills to be able to do that. But with that, I also want to give them skills to be able to improve their lives. So whether it's helping someone become enrolled into school or go to university or whether it's teaching them a specific set of skills so that they, they can go and get um, employment so then they can improve their life and their family's life and that's what we're doing. I have a bit of a complicated personal story. I have a very great family and I have a brilliant childhood but I had some things happen in my childhood where I wasn't always safe. Then when I became an adult, so when I turned 18, I had a few incidences where I also wasn't safe and I grew up in the Western country. And I had all of the opportunities in order to have the best life I could. And I still wasn't safe in some instances. So the people here, whether it's Thai, Korean or Burmese, they are not always safe and they don't always have those opportunities. So if we can come here and do our little part to help as many people as possible to be able to feel safe and to know how to stay safe, I think that's what I want.